We'll find a way, Professor, who we always have. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the movies that got science, technology, and or space travel right. Number 10, Deep Impact. Now, we get hit all the time by rocks and meteors, some of them the size of cars, some no bigger than your hand. But the comet we discovered is the size of New York City. Although critics didn't love this sci-fi drama about a massive comet on a collision course with Earth, scientists were seriously impressed by its commitment to realism. Experts praised the portrayal of the comet in particular, including its size and appearance. The movie's physics are also surprisingly on point. From the impact and the mega tsunamis it creates to the extremely low gravity on the comet's surface. Though it was a box office success, Deep Impact has since been overshadowed by Michael Bay's more memorable but far less accurate Armageddon, which was released the same year. While it's not super likely that a civilization-ending object will hit Earth in the near future, it's not impossible either. Just ask the dinosaurs. The impact of the comet is going to be, well, disastrous. Number 9. Stowaway This movie might be set in space, but its science is firmly grounded in reality. In the not-too-distant future, a three-person mission to Mars discovers an accidental stowaway on their ship and finds themselves facing a terrible moral dilemma. We took off about 12 hours ago. 12 hours? They don't have enough oxygen for a fourth person, and it's too late to turn back to Earth. The crew attempts to use algae cultures to create more O2, which is a smart move, since the algae in our oceans produces way more oxygen than other plants. This research is years of my life. We both know how important it is. The use of centripetal force to create artificial gravity is also spot on, including the nauseating effect it would have on the passengers. The filmmakers consulted actual scientists and astronauts while writing the script, and their expertise really shows. And even with every safety measure we have, there's no way for all of us to survive. Number eight. Woman in the Moon. This silent sci-fi was way ahead of its time. The film follows a businessman and a scientist who believe there may be gold on the moon, as they plan to execute an ambitious journey to prove their theory right. In real life, scientists have discovered that there actually is gold on the moon but mining it with current technology would be too expensive to be worth the trouble. The movie also depicts the first countdown to zero prior to launch, as well as a multi-stage rocket not so different from the ones used today. In fact, the rocket is so realistic, Germany banned the film because it was too similar to the long-range ballistic missiles they were secretly developing during World War II. Number 7. Gattaca I belong to a new underclass, no longer determined by social status or the color of your skin. Welcome to Gattaca, gentlemen. No. We now have discrimination down to a science. Space is more of a backdrop than the focus of this movie, which takes place in a future where human genetic engineering is mainstream. Discrimination is technically illegal, but in practice there are two classes of people, with more opportunities for those who were artificially engineered. You want to give your child the best possible start. Believe me, we have enough imperfection built in already. No, your child doesn't need any additional burdens. You might have noticed that this sounds a lot like our reality with people's DNA standing in for their race, gender, sexuality, and so on. Real geneticists have pointed out that with rapid advances in human gene sequencing, the technology of Gattaca might not be far away. The movie's approach to privacy issues is also disturbingly prescient. We're already dealing with questions around health insurance companies and employers having access to our genetic information. But now there are enough of the right kind of people to warrant a new measuring stick. Number six, Moon. I know you're really lonely up there, but I think in a lot of ways it's been really good for you. Director Duncan Jones put a lot of work into making this movie as scientifically sound as possible, and it paid off. He even screened it for a group of NASA scientists who were impressed with its accuracy. The film follows Sam, who's been alone on the dark side of the moon for three years mining the isotope Helium-3 
something NASA is really working on. Two weeks to go, Sam. Two weeks to go, buddy. Jones based the look of the lunar surface on real photographs from the Apollo missions and Japanese lunar orbiters. He even wanted the movie's AI to be as realistic as possible, modeling it after an actual robotics project at MIT. You can return to the sleeping quarters tomorrow, but it will still be a few more days before you can resume anything like a normal work schedule. Number five, contact. What's wrong with science being practical, what? even profitable? Nothing. As long as your motive is the search for truth, which is exactly what the pursuit of science is. The brilliant science communicator Carl Sagan only wrote one fiction novel. More than 10 years later, director Robert Zemeckis turned it into a brainy sci-fi film that explores what would happen if aliens from a distant world contacted Earth. Maybe because 70% of the planet speaks other languages. Mathematics is the only truly universal language center. How would an advanced alien intelligence communicate with humanity? Sagan theorized that they would have to use math, the only truly universal language. He was closely involved with the production of the film, which has been widely praised for its portrayal of SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. In fact, SETI.org described Contact as, quote, more accurate in its depiction than any Hollywood film in history. I can't describe it. I can't even explain it. Number four, WALL-E. Space is not healthy for humans. And we're not just talking about the lack of oxygen. Real astronauts lose bone and muscle density every day they spend in microgravity. If they didn't exercise regularly, they'd probably end up looking a lot like the pampered humans in WALL-E. Due to the effects of microgravity, you and your passengers may have suffered some slight bone loss. The film also paints a grim picture of a future Earth where pollution and garbage have made the planet unlivable. Rising toxicity levels have made life unsustainable on Earth. Unsustainable? What? Considering that we're dumping around 8 million tons of plastic into the ocean every year, the world depicted in WALL-E doesn't seem that far-fetched. To find Earth. Earth, the surface of the world as distinct from the sky or sea. Wow. Number three, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi masterpiece came out over half a century ago, yet it looks and feels more realistic than many films made in the last few years. That's partly because Kubrick insisted that his spacecraft be scientifically accurate, not just futuristic looking. I know this sounds rather incredible, but this conclusion is based on the results from our twin uh, Niner Triple Zero computer. A group of NASA engineers called 2001, quote, the most thoroughly and accurately researched film in screen history with respect to aerospace engineering. They even designed a spaceship based on the movie's ship Discovery One. The movie also depicts tablet computers, flat screen TVs, and video chat. We're just hoping Kubrick was wrong in his predictions about AI gone rogue. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Number two, Interstellar. When you're making a movie with a lot of heavy scientific concepts, it pays to bring in an expert. That's why Christopher Nolan got Nobel Prize winning physicist Kip Thorne to consult on Interstellar. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and a black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. Reportedly, Thorne laid down some pretty strict guidelines when it came to the movie's science. He was adamant that the screenplay didn't violate the laws of physics, and that no matter how wild the story got, it would stay grounded in real possibilities. The equation couldn't reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. You need more. More. More what? More data. You need to see into a black hole. The laws of nature prohibit a naked singularity. Although it is still science fiction, the film's depiction of wormholes, relativity, and the curvature of space-time around a black hole won high praise from other scientists. That's just how there's still someone there to save. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson marveled at the movie's innovative portrayal of these complex scientific ideas. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, The Martian. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily, I'm a botanist. 
Have you noticed a pattern in our list? The most scientifically accurate movies are often the ones that rely on real scientists to get things right. NASA was a full collaborator in the making of The Martian, even promoting the movie on its website. From the nuclear-powered heater to the process Mark Watney uses to create water, a lot of the technology in this movie is 100% real. Even the gravity assist maneuver has actually been employed on real-life unmanned missions. We start accelerating immediately to preserve velocity and gain even more. We don't intercept with Earth at all, but we come close enough to get a gravity assist and adjust course. We also have to give credit to the source material. Writer Andy Weir worked hard to make sure the science was sound in the original novel. The Martian is proof that you can make a great sci-fi that's still totally realistic. Please tell them. Tell them I love what I do. And I'm really good at it. Which space movie made you feel smarter after you watched it? Let us know in the comments below. It's next to godliness. Isn't that what they say? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.